Now I built my gun to fire effectively at medium range. I've got the full length forend and I have this adjustable magnification optic on top. Now a lot of people scoff at magnified optics in airsoft, especially for field safe velocities. But honestly, if the relief is comfortable like this one is, I can see it at a number of various distances. I can get that picture really quickly and comfortably. It's not a bad thing to have, especially when you really think it's important to be able to see the trajectory of your BB when you fire. Now I have the traditional uh, full wood forend. I really like it because I love that vintage look with the old school style magazines because I just think it looks great. And the ribbing makes grabbing your magazine really easily. And I've replaced the pistol grip with this awesome ergonomic grip for a comfortable grab with my lower profile gloves. And because you never know what kind of environment you're going to be playing in, and in airsoft we don't have to worry about recoil, I have this side folding stock for when I'm playing in a close quarters environment or I just want to carry it comfortably. Now for my plate carrier, I have opted for Fly's awesome Generation 2 plate carrier. It is about as robust a plate carrier as you can find. It's not very bulky, but you have a full complement of molly across the front, the back and along the sides of the cummerbund. Now the magazine pouches, because we're talking AK here, we've got these Cordura Fly 2 Magazine AK pouch here and they're really great because they hold two magazines so I've got as much as I'll need for a game at a public field but if I need more space I've added another single one here on the side in addition to having one and two utility pouches just in case I want to use those to carry more magazines. But if not, and I wanna use it for something else, a great thing about these is that they're big enough for water bottles. So because I'm not using a hydration pack, I'm gonna be able to bring a water bottle on either this extra AK mag pouch or one of my two utility pouches. Now for my BDUs, I've opted for the top half being Warwolf's new battle dress combat shirt in awesome and traditional three color. It's a really comfortable set. It's got Velcro everywhere you need it and it's a really affordable set. But for my pants, I've decided for, once again, my favorite Condor Tan Tactical Pants. I love these, they're lightweight, they breathe really well, and they're really comfortable for all kinds of leg gear that I wear. And last but not least, I have opted for the Fly One Point Elastic Sling that works perfectly with the rear sling point for the traditional full-size AKs. I love it because I can be hands-free and I can pull it up really comfortably whether I'm ready for combat or I'm just standing around waiting for something to happen. Now Ross and John both went with really low profile high speed kits, but you don't have to cut down on equipment when still burden yourself. This kit is built to be super flexible, but to still be mobile and to breathe well because I've got this veil top and the low profile glasses. So definitely vote for me because if you want to win in the battlefield, you need efficiency and I got all of that.